Hey, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I'm going to talk to you today about some preventable failures that are fairly rare, but if they happen, they're expensive and they could be dangerous. And that is torque of different bolts on a tractor. Now, I'm going to back up a little bit and tell you about an experience I had when I worked for a farm equipment company. We were at a product introduction and it snowed. And I was on a 100 horse tractor blading the driveway to try to get the vice president and the CEO out of the parking lot. I was actually trying to make some brownie points. And I'd been blade, I was, we, we had a product introduction. We had tractors around for people to drive, new tractors. And I was using this, this fairly large sized tractor to blade right in back of these really nice cars of these executives of the company. And one of the service guys came running at me with a funny look on his face, stopping me, hey. And he stopped me and he said, he held up a bolt that had fallen out of the tractor. And the next day he said, stop, we need to work on this tractor. And the next day I asked him, I said, what had happened? Well, the, the bolt that hold the rim onto the hub of the tractor wheel had fallen out along with all but two of them. There were two bolts holding a hundred horsepower rim onto the hub in the center and one more bolt falling out and that tractor would have been on the ground on top possibly of one of the executive's cars. So I found out how important it is to check the torque. Now what had probably happened is whoever had prepped the tractor at the factory had just got those hand tight and not put an air wrench on them and so they were getting ready to fall out. So I've actually seen this failure occur and one more bolt and it would have been a disaster for Mike and my brownie points had gone to a disaster. So I, I learned at that point, it's really important to torque certain bolts on a tractor. And I'm gonna show you five or six different sets of bolts that need to be torqued. And a couple of them you probably would never think about. First off today, I'm gonna to tell you, I have used for years a cheap torque wrench where it has a little dial on it that you have to watch when you're tightening bolts. And I finally broke down and bought this good torque wrench. And if you wanna buy the same thing you're seeing in the videos, I got this torque wrench, um, uh, some uh, sockets, uh, metric sockets, and some extensions off of Amazon. And I get credit if you order the same thing I have here. If you wanna go online, there's a link in the description below. You can order the same stuff and I get a little credit for it and you pay the same thing I do. If you've got a torque wrench, great, use it. But here's what we need to do. First off, we're gonna go around to the wheels. Front wheels and back wheels. Now there's the bolts that hold the wheels onto the tractor and then on the back wheels on some tractors, not all of them have this, a bolt that holds the hub onto the rim. And this is the one that we had lost when I was at this product introduction and was about to drop the tractor down on the ground. Check those. And they're a little hard to get to and that's why you need extensions in order to do this. The next bolts we're gonna check are the roll bar bolts. And that's a safety issue. The next bolts we're gonna check are the bolts that hold the loader onto the frame of the tractor. And finally, this is the one that most people forget, and, and I have seen failures of this, I'm gonna check the bolts that hold the drawbar onto the tractor. You gotta crawl underneath the tractor, get you a piece of cardboard to get under there and check those bolts. Even if all the torque specs on your tractor were perfect when you got it, tractors vibrate and these bolts tend to loosen up over time. It's your responsibility as a tractor owner to check the torque specs on these areas and, and make sure they're not loose. If there's a failure because of a loose bolt, it can be costly and it can be dangerous. Hey, one last piece of advice. On my new torque wrench, I wrote the torque specs for these critical areas with a paint pencil on the inside of the toolbox, so they're always there. So if I'm wanting to check them, I don't have to go grab the owner's manual and look through all the pages to find it. They're right there where I can get to them. Hey, I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts and like my Facebook page. And hey, if you got questions or comments, put them below. I'll try to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching.